All right, so uh, this is a video on how uh, using the ATR, the average true range. All right, so uh, let's get uh, let's go on here. Uh, so uh, don't forget that nobody's told you you can make $3 million in two weeks. The possibility exists you could sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment. Therefore, you should never invest any money you cannot afford to lose. Be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek the advice of an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts, all right? So the a ATR, the average true range, is used by ProAct traders, all right? Now we use it to assess the current volatility of a given currency pair. We watch its history over multiple time periods, and that gives us information regarding its current volatility based on past history. We also use it to ascertain whether a currency pair can accomplish the target that we've determined for today. Advanced traders also use it in swing trading and also in determining stops in a fundamental announcement. For the sake of this um, uh, video, to keep it simple, we're not gonna talk about how advanced traders use them, all right? So if you look at Wikipedia and you look up average true range, you're gonna get all this information about it. You'll see what, that the calculation is and all this and all that. All right, so uh, here's a couple of things. The indicator does not provide an indication of price trend. It's simply the degree of price volatility, okay? So the true range is the largest of the most recent periods high minus the most recent periods low and the absolute value of the most recent periods high minus the previous close, okay? So you can read all that and do this whole thing, but the, uh, uh, the deal is basically yes, okay? It creates a daily range. What the currency does from uh, uh, bottom to top or top to bottom uh, uh, historically, okay? So the idea of range is that they show the commitment or enthusiasm of traders. Large or increasing ranges suggest that traders prepare, are prepared to continue to bid up or sell down a stock, or in our case, Forex, through the course of the day. Decreasing range suggests waning interest, all right? So it should be pretty simple with that, okay? So here's an ATR. You can go do a search on uh, uh, you know, Google and you'll find you know, 2,000 different ATRs, all right? Uh, so it's just an ATR. You add it to your charts right here and you have to read it in here, okay? Right in here it says that the ATR current setting is 82 pips, all right? So you can see it's just under the 1.000 here, all right? Down this other one here, the current AD ATR is 256 pips. You see that? Uh, so over in this area, it was only doing about 150 pips. So you can see in this area, there was not a lot of in, in interest, and now there's a lot of interest. It's very simple, not very hard to deal with, okay? So fast trackers have uh, their own script, which, pull, uh, which pulls them out into historical time frames. So this is what it looks like. It, it's a little script that just pulls them all into one little uh, sheet. It's really nice and really quick for us to look at. So, but comparing them allows us to see what is happening over multiple time frames with a particular pair. Now, we use the 14-day as the norm, all right? So, you can see here, the, the uh, let's just take the euro dollar, okay? Uh, it averages 82 pips a day, all right? From, from the high to the low, low to the high, whichever way it's going, it averages 82 pips, okay? But you can see that's an increase over the last seven days, all right, which was uh, average 67 pips. And it also, in the last two days, it was only averaging 43. So you can see, if you just extrapolate the 43 to the 82, you can start to see that there's twice as much interest in this currency as there was two days ago, all right? Now, if you go all the way down here to 180 80 days, which is half a year, you can see that its average is 98 pips, all right? So it, in reality, it hasn't even quite got to its average that it does normally, all right? So you can see how quickly you can ascertain information about the, these currencies. Some of the bigger ones, okay, for instance, here, pound yen, all right? Currently 306 pips a day. Well, if you could catch that at the very beginning, beginning of the move and you wouldn't click the sucker out for five or ten pips, you know you're going 306 pips today, all right? Uh, how long will it take? Uh, it might take all day. It may take two hours. Who knows what it is, all right? Well, you can see that that 306 is actually declining uh, 
uh, from the 321 and the 308. So in the last, uh, the last two days and seven days, there's actually slightly more interest in the currency than there is now. But over the long term, 100, uh, the 180 days, it's 236 pips, all right? So that'll give you an example of uh, how that works, okay? So let's just take a look at a chart. I've taken a chart and popped this up here. It's the Euro dollar, okay? Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of the Euro dollar. Why am I not a fan of the Euro dollar? Because its ATR is too small, all right? Uh, in three sessions, it only goes average of 82 pips. So divide three sessions, the New York, the Asian, and the uh, London by 83, by 82 pips, and you can see it only runs about 20-some pips uh, a session. Well, uh, that's not worth trading, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. All right, so let's take a look here. You can see here that currently uh, we're running 82 pips uh, right here, right? Right there. So you can see that's a pretty big range, 82 pips, right? Uh, the last seven days, it was only 67 pips. Well, you can see that. This, uh, you know, if you add all these here, you're going to see that you're only averaging about six days in this area right in here. You see that? Right. And overall, in 180 days, it's only 98 pips, all right? Now, 98 pips a day is three T30s. Each one of these little lines on our charts is one of the reasons we have these lines on here. So it's easy to see, whoop, back up there, sorry. It's easy to see where they are. So you see there's a blue line there, 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 and a blue line there. Those are T30s, all right? 30 pip targets, all right? So the average range of this currency is three of those uh, in a 180 day uh, uh, time frame, but currently not even able to do that, only 82 pips, all right? So we've just opened up the charts here and we see, wow, I think I got a big wide open space down here. Okay, so this is how we use it. I'll show it to you here. This is how we use it uh, to to ascertain whether we should take anything, all right, a trade. So for instance, here's a nice big wide open space down here. All right, remember that we only trade in wide open spaces and the job of a trader is to find those. Here's a wide open space, it's one, two, 60 pips, or 60 pips down here. Wow, that would be awesome to get this morning, okay? How, however, the ATR is 82 pips, and what has it done over the, over the night, okay? It started right here in that T30, and it went one, two, three. It's done 90 pips, all right? So the question now becomes, uh, it's already done 90 pips during the London session. It's now the, the New York session. Is it possible for it to do another 60 pips? or 150 pips, uh, when it normally does only 82 pips, which would be basically double the ATR. It's possible, but it's not probable. You see that? And so on this currency, we would be very reluctant to take a trade. Anything it shows for a, for a, a signal that it might be going to that area would be very reluctant to take that trade. Why? Because it has already done its average true range for the day. You see how you use it? And if you think back in your trading, you probably, of course, you, don't, you haven't isolated that, but if you had isolated it, what you would have found out is that you were taking trades because you didn't know about the ATR, and the ATR had already accomplished what it was going to do for the day, and you placed a trade, and instead of going where you thought it was, it goes against you as the market goes back to consolidate, back up in here, and wait for the next day and you get stopped out, the broker stopped me out again. No, you were missing a piece of information. You were missing a piece of information. That's how it works, all right? So let's go into charts here real quick, and uh, I'll pop them up here, and let me take these this off. So we can just take a look. I'll go to a couple of charts here. So let's go over the British pound, all right? So uh, let me pull this up here. There we go, and we'll take this down to a 60 minute chart. All right, so 60 minute chart, as you can see, what has this currency done? It's gone oh, one, uh, since the, overnight, this is 60 minutes, okay? So uh, since last night, which is right here, this is 2300 last night. So that's the end of the agent session. This is what it did during the night. One, two, three, let me make these bigger. Right? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven T thirties, which means it's moved three hundred and thirty thirty pips. It's the pound dollar. Okay. Now I'm going to pull up the ATR here, and we'll take a look at the at that, right, and see how how uh, that was. And uh, here we go. All right. So pound dollar had a two hundred and five pip ATR. 
right? That's its average over 14 days. It normally only does 153 pips. You see that? So it went 300, 30% further than what it normally would have done. Now, why did it do that? Can you tell why it did it? Yes, you can certainly do that. How do we do that, all right? You notice here that when they, they when in order to make this happen, this breakout happen, a big boy had to come in and put a candle through there, all right? So as soon as they put the candle through there, the big boy did that to say, see this thing we're going, we were going up, we're not doing that anymore? Well, that meant the follow through came through and they went one, two, three, 14, 30 or more. See that? That's what happened, right? And had you been in front of this thing, right? You'd have gone, oh, I see what they're doing. They're pushing it out. No wonder they're gonna get, they're gonna have a bigger ATR today. However, if they had respected this right here and bounced, then you would have known that would have been within its ATR and you would have been reluctant to take a buy off of here or a sell off of here. See how you know that information? So, uh, you know, it takes a while to get used to understanding the ATR, uh, but it's critical, really critical in understanding how currencies uh, move because this is statistical data. Statistically speaking, over a 14 day period, the pound dollar only does 205 pips a day, all right? Now, the other thing you can quickly see is there are currencies that, why would I waste my time? So maybe you've been trading the dollar Swissy, all right? You've been trading the dollar Swissy and go, I don't understand. This thing isn't going anywhere. Well, no wonder. It only has an ATR of 69 pips right now. It's average for a whole day, 24, uh, 24 hours, which is three sessions, is 85 pips, less than 90 pips, which means if you divide it by three, it's doing less than 30 pips a whole session, right? So in the New York session, it can't move more than 20, 25 pips. London, so New York session, London, uh, London, it's Asian, not more than 25 pips. See that? So. No wonder you're getting whacked, right? So what happens when you work those little currencies like that? You have a tendency to click out for five or 10 pips. And when you click out for five or 10 pips, you're now learning how to be uh, uh, unsuccessful because you must be 90% correct for the rest of your life if you click out for five to 10 pips. Right? It's not possible for you to be 90% correct for the rest of your life. So you have just stacked the deck against you. All right, so I hope that helps you in understanding ATRs and how we can uh, use them to our advantage. See you in the live rooms.